clear my throat, you know. It's my first video, so I gotta make sure <clears throat> everything sounds good, you know. The vocal cords, me, 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 What? What the camera's on? What's up everybody? Casual Batman here. I told you I was going to be doing videos on this channel, and I'm doing videos on this channel, and you better like it. Because I'm kind of cool. What is that noise? God, I swear. I don't even understand what's going on behind me. Anyways, we're going to be talking about Oblivion with uh, uh, Tom Cruise, that's right. That little guy. He, uh, he runs a lot. The movie also stars Morgan Freeman, who kind of looks a lot like Lucius Fox. Yeah. He's a friend of mine. He gives me all my gadgets and my goodies. And uh, yeah, he looks a lot like Morgan Freeman. It's weird, I don't understand it myself. Anyways, yes, Oblivion takes place in the uh, 70 years in the future where uh, I no longer will be able to fight crime, so aliens attack and pretty much the stupid government launches nuclear weapons and destroys the whole world. When all they had to do was call me, but it's okay. I forgive them. It's just a movie. And basically humanity is in like a whole ship where they're on a far distant uh, Saturn moon or whatever like that. But they still have maintenance guys that check these probes that are still floating around. And then Tom Cruise is one of these maintenance guys and he's trying to fix them. And then what happens? Well... people supposed to know if they want to see it or not. I don't understand your logic. Ah, this, ah, 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 this is weird. You know what? Fine. I give up. Whatever. You, you do it. Yeah, whatever. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. Anyways, let's continue on with this review. Uh, basically, yes, Oblivion stars Tom Cruise, has Morgan Freeman, um, the chick from Quantum of Solace, the Bond girl who is really freaking hot. And it's directed by Joseph Kaczynski, who did Tron Legacy. So you know that this guy has a taste for future elements in a movie. He knows how to shoot future movies. Because even though Tron Legacy, like, the story was kind of, eh, eh, the visuals were pretty stunning. So anyways, Tom Cruise plays Jack something. I forgot his last name. Roper? R right? Raper? <laughs> Jack Raper! And he's basically, like, a maintenance guy. He goes and repairs these drones. And this is, like, 70 years after, like, aliens came down and they started invading. And then we fought back with nukes and just pretty much effed the whole planet up kind of like what's probably really gonna happen although we're just gonna send nukes to each other and just be like oh crap well smoke them if you got them so tom cruise plays like a little maintenance guy because there's like drones roaming around and sometimes they break down or something happens and um he basically has to re repair these drones and there's certain areas like that are that he can walk through or there's certain areas that are like radiation zones is what they call it they can't go through there they'll just burn up and i must say overall good sci-fi flick i'm not gonna lie it was i thought it was really really good you know it wasn't perfect but it was a decent sci-fi film i mean like um good action uh the visuals were stunning too i mean you know some of the flyovers and the special effects i mean it was all shot very well which i knew it would be considering it was joseph kaczynski who did tron legacy and i guess the only real bad thing about this movie or really kind of blows it and some some other re reviewers were also saying it too is the fact that you know that morgan freeman is in this movie and he has this big secret and you know like something's gonna happen with morgan freeman i mean honestly in the trailer they could have just not put morgan freeman but they had to because it's morgan fucking freeman which of course he nails it of course he morgan freeman in this role as he does all the roles but yeah it would have been kind of cool if like they didn't show him in the trailer they didn't show like you know like there was like this resistance or whatever or whatnot and then you know Tom Cruise is just going through and trying to you know I mean it could have worked just strictly with Tom Cruise's name on the title but no they had to throw in Morgan Freeman I guess that's just Hollywood for it. I hate when Hollywood kind of blows it in the trailers but overall there's still other twists I mean there's stuff that you see coming but there's like you know a couple things I was like oh well oh wow there's not a lot of character development but it's not really neat I don't think with this kind of movie. I mean, it strictly just goes on sci-fi action and what the fuck is going on. So overall, I'd suggest seeing Oblivion. It's a good movie. It's a good time. If you're just looking for like just like a cool sci-fi movie, do it. You know, you'll see Tom Cruise run a little bit. Not as much as usual. Tommy's getting old. But yeah, Film Junkie approved. Go see it. If you like science fiction movies, you'll probably like this movie. Well done. Visuals are great. Direction was great. Acting was great. And even though they kind of blow a little too much in the trailer, you'll still be fed some like, oh, holy shit. All right, guys, hit that like, thumbs up button. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Well, I'm David, the Film Junkie, and this has been a film review of Oblivion.
Hey, wait a minute, you're not ending the video without me. Come on. God. This is what I get for letting uh, casual Batman live with me. This is just... Come on. Get out of the way. Come on. Jeez. Get out of the way. You freaking idiot. You sound like an idiot. I swear. I don't get why. He sounds like that. He's too energetic. Too much coffee in that guy's diet. Swear to God. Anyways, guys, hit that like, thumbs up button if you like this video. And I know you did. Because you like me. You better like me. Because I'll come to your house. Somehow. I'll figure it out. I'll have Lucius help me out. Make sure you subscribe to the Casual Batman channel, which is what we're going to change it to. <sighs> he doesn't know yet. But he soon will. I'll punch him. Well, all right, guys, I appreciate you uh, uh, clicking in on your uh, computer machine and uh, watching this film review by your friend, Casual Batman. You better share this to everybody, okay? And go see the movie. It's pretty intense. Tom Cruise is kind of awesome. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you later. Uh, 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 I need a throat lozenger. <laughs>